Now, this is 1955-56 Hornby 00 electric trains, brochure, catalogue, whatever you want to call it. Okay. Hornby 00 electric trains made and guaranteed by Meccano Limited. A complete railway on a table. Okay, now look at that. Look at that. So that's quite nice. It's going to fire the imagination of everyone. So you've got controllers, buildings, switches, you've got water cranes, you've got um, level crossings, you've got points, you've got curved and straight track, you've got buffers, you've got signals, semaphore signals. Now, this was a year, we think, that my dad got his first train set, a Hornby Double. So, he still had lots of rolling stock, and he had lots of track, as we all know, a couple of engines. Now, I got the engines working the other day, and I got the track together, and it's mostly okay. Seems to be some little bits to mess around with still, but last year I bought the buildings off eBay. Now, here we go. This was the plan. The plan was for me and my dad to build this, or me to build it here, but it didn't happen. Okay, now it's his birthday tomorrow and I pinched the track last week and this is a replication as close as I can manage, it's not 100%, of the 1955-56 Hornby Electric Railway, Hornby Double O Electric Railway, on a table, <laughs> it is on a table. So, let's start down the bottom. So, we got his original Hornby Double O Type C3 controller. Now this isn't wired in, because unfortunately I can't find the cables that go in the back. They could still be at his, but they probably are. That'll need screwing down. If we get it, that'd have to be serviced, taken apart and serviced, checked, or at least the wiring um, checked and then electrical test done on it. There's a couple of switches there, two black and one red. Now, uh, I think it was uh, three and two that it should be on this, but it's not too important. They're in place anyway. Double signals, the metal ones. Now these are actually mine off one of my layouts because he'd got the little colored light signals. But I like that. Now look at this, this beautiful Art Deco. We'll put some light on the subject. Beautiful Art Deco signal box. Oh, I think it's lovely. I love the styling on this. I love the colors. We've got the points there, obviously. Okay. Coming along, we've got couple of coaches, another semaphore signal, the Duchess of Athol. Sorry, the Duchess of Montrose engine, that was his. Okay, then we come up to the footbridge. These are all die cast metal, these are really nice. This screws together in the corners. Okay, lovely solid thing, look at that. Hornby Double made in England, Meccano. Brilliant, a couple of proper old names from the past there. And we've got a couple of sidings with the buffers. Got uh, a couple of wagons there, including the flat one. Now, you, you may remember from that catalogue, there's a couple of round things here. I don't know if they were wires or wire cables, or whatever, I'm not sure. And a coupling and uncoupling um, section there. And there's another one there. And we're back into the points. We've got double points there. Double points means double prizes. Now this is incorrect, this water crane. Okay, it's a wrong era water crane. Um, I had the other ones. I currently don't. Um, I had them, I sold them, I should have kept them. So I need to get one of the brownie red ones. Anyway, this lovely station, look at this. Look at that. That is a centerpiece. God knows how much that would have been um, back in the day, but that would have been outside of his pocket money and all they wanted to do was run run trains around tracks i guess and build up with points and stuff like that okay so i'm going to move around now let's get a good look now, here we go now this i mean look at this styling seriously that is just lovely 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 now what we've got we've got a couple of little posters lms lake district brilliant my goodness, my goodness. Now, if some kid has stuck these on, I don't think these would originally have been on it, but I love that. And I remember, my goodness, my goodness. But look at that, just, just this beautiful building. Now, the ramp sections, they, they actually kind of slot in. Let me turn this over so you can see. You kind of 
kind of made it like that. See, nice and simple with a slot and a hole. Look at this, look at this construction. Hormy Dublo, made in England, by Carmo Limited. You know, I mean, the construction on these is, is just, that's great. It's quality stuff. Now this, you talk 1955, it's now 2021. So, 45, 66 years old. Okay, still solid. Okay, lovely. Come back here, I've got a couple of signals. Again, these are my ones. So we've got a double semaphore and a single one. So home and away single uh, signals, change the signals. Now we've got the points here. Now you've got this, this S curve here, which is quite cool. Okay. And that reverses it. Now the problem is you can run it one way, but then you're a bit stuffed. So you'd have to reverse down. Anyway, so if I come around the track there, we've got another semaphore signal. Then we've got the level crossing. Now this is better than, than, You'd imagine because look, look at that. You can you can block the train or block the traffic. It's a lovely solid bit of metal. Now, I thought, right, what I'll do is I'll just unscrew there and there and there and there and just slide it under. But you can't because that's actually kind of it's chamfered. So you've got the the shape of the rail and this fits through it and this is kind of angle cut down. So you have to actually slide the rail through that and then that's rock solid. Absolutely brilliant. Really like that. Now, the only problem is, because Dad has got enough track that we can add to this, we can put the outer oval, because he bought that with his pocket money, to put that on. However, there isn't space if I leave this in situ. So, that's going to have to come off. We'll put the double track on, um, or the, the outer layer, probably connected in points here and there, and on that side and that, but it may be that we don't get to use that. Okay, sad, but what the hell. Um, or we can maybe use it elsewhere, over here or something like that. Maybe extend that out or something like that. Anyway, I digress. So here we go, on to the other side, and so we've got buffer, we've got the brake van, and, and look at that, that's printed metal. It's really nice. Then we've got a mineral wagon and a closed wagon. And then I don't think this is quite the right one. Um, it's the only flatbed I've got um, of that size. And then we've got his uh, his tank locomotive, BR tank. And behind that is the little station. Yeah, look at that. He's got another a little poster there. Can't see what it says. But again, lovely little, little bit of design work there. I mean, I don't know, maybe they had these in the 50s, these particular kind of buildings and everything, and these sort of colour schemes, I don't know. But they're, they're, they're really quite fabulous. I mean, look, here we go. Look at that. That's nice. But I mean, that, that one's not as good as the others, but when you think, look at that, I mean, that is, that is lovely. And this, you know, really, that is just pure style. And I think that's lovely. So, 8.43, let's have a minute of running this around, yeah? Let's take the old Duchess of Montrose, and give her a bit of a run around. Have something a little different now. Let's get the tank engine running. 
on the main circuit.